I think most of us, at one point or another, have prayed for revival. Because we want God to move. We want God to save. We want to see God do things that cannot be done and cannot be experienced without Him, or His power, or His presence, or His provision. We pray for God to heal our land, and we pray for God to revive us again, and we pray wanting to experience that revival in our country. We want to experience that revival in our city. We want to see the activity of God in our church corporately. But how many of us have honestly looked inwardly and begged God to bring that revival to us personally? Listen, God is moving, and He's saving, and He's restoring and healing. The activity of God is all around us. In recent days, we've seen lost people found. We've seen fearful people find faith. We've seen unforgivable things be forgiven. We're in a season right now where God continues doing things that cannot be done without Him. Prodigals are coming home. Marriages are being restored. In the past eight weeks, we've seen over 150 people baptized, raised to walk in newness of life. Week after week, He's forgiving, and He's redeeming, and He's setting captives free. Listen to me. Don't miss this moment. Don't take this for granted. And don't be satisfied with revival being around you. But press into Jesus and ask Him to birth that revival within you.